Hey, this is Bob Flirty, the Electric Principal, and today we're going to talk uh, accessories for your VW. Some of them are VW parts, some are not. Uh, what I'm going to do is show you a number of products that I personally like and I recommend uh, that you get for your car. Uh, and to be honest, there's some products I don't recommend, and I'll, I'll be honest with you about those. Um, right now, I'm standing in front of a brand new 23 ID4, and this little bugger came with the ID4 protection and convenience package, which was cost $406. Now, I wouldn't buy the VW protection package because I think it's overpriced. Uh, I think you get not necessarily their best mats. I think you get things you don't need, like the uh, this little thing, the roadside assistance kit, uh, which has a triangle and you know a tire gauge and a couple things you really don't need and you're paying way too much for it. What I recommend that you do is you come in when you buy your ID4, if you want to buy VW parts, is you come into the parts department or talk to your salesman and pick out some of the better items and you don't need everything and your cost will be less and I'm going to get you better products doing that and I'll let you know that because ordering that $406 package is not worth it. That's my, that's my personal opinion. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna talk a little bit about mats. Uh, the mats that I have before me right now are our standard rubber mats. They're nice. You know, people like rubber mats, real rubber mats, because they're soft and your feet don't slip on them. Uh, so let's take a look at these first and we'll decide whether uh, they're worth it or not. Hey, so this is what the inside uh, of the ID4 looks like when it has the standard rubber mats protection package. These have been used. They've been in the car for a little bit. It's uh, one of our demos. But, you know, it's a nice quality mat. What I don't like about them is they don't cover enough. You know, when you when you look at the, the trim around here and how far they go up, you know, you live in Wisconsin or Fort Collins, you're going to make a mess of this. And... Uh, water and snow and ice is going to end up schlopping over to the side here. Schlopping over is a technical term. Um, so they're nice mats, but I just don't think they cover enough. This is what the, this is what the Muddy Buddies look like. And you know, they're a little slipperier surface. That's one thing I don't like about the Muddy Buddies is that, you know, when you put your feet on it, they kind of uh, uh, can slide. Uh, and uh, a lot of times when guys clean these things, they put a, you know, they, they, they put a shine on it. Well, that, that makes it even worse. It's like uh, uh, turning your mats into a hockey rink. But one of the things I love about the Muddy Buddies is look at the coverage. I mean, that coverage goes way up here, all the way around, high ridges, high edges. And to me, this is, this is gonna do what a mat's supposed to do. Now, these are only sold through VW. Uh, we have an exclusive contract with WeatherTech uh, to produce these particular items. Uh, and so you can't get them anywhere else. And for like two and a quarter, they're, they're a good deal. Because they also include the rear mats that cover the entire back area, including the center part between the left and right seat and the rear. So good deal, great mats. Uh, this would be a good choice. I personally prefer these mats uh, to the protection package standard rubber mats. I just think skip the protection package and I just go straight to these for 215 uh, and overall I can outfit my car for a lot cheaper. Hey, uh, I know this is not a VW. Uh, this is my uh, Mini Cooper S uh, E electric car, of course. Uh, and what I'm going to show you right now are, is a different brand of mats that are available for the ID4. Uh, and they're called 3D mats. You can find these mats on Amazon. If you go to the 3D website, you won't find them uh, because they'll say not in stock, but I do see them uh, for ID4s. Uh, these are a, a really good quality mat for the money. Uh, it's relatively stiff. It has this great soft bottom uh, that grips uh, really well to the carpeting. Your feet aren't gonna slide around. So let's go take a look at how this looks in the car. So this is what the uh, inside uh, of my Mini Cooper looks like with the mats installed. A little dirty, sorry about that. But you can see um, very nice quality mats. Kind of high ridge over here, very nice around the left side. The one thing it's a little short on is the pedal. 
because I do get some dirt that builds up there. But otherwise, these are some of the best mats I've ever owned. I love them. And I, they don't sponsor me. They're not an official product. If they did want to sponsor me, I wouldn't mind. But uh, these folks make an outstanding product. Probably when it comes to uh, off-brand, uh, not necessarily uh, original manufacturing equipment, uh, you can't do better than these mats. They are beautiful, uh, and I, I really like them. So now it's time to take a little uh, a bit of a look at the cargo area of the ID4. You know, it is an SUV, and you're going to carry sloppy stuff in an SUV. You're going to carry stuff that's going to fall out of bags. You're going to have grocery bags that leak the milk. You're going to have all of that happen. And so to me, buying cargo protection isn't an option. You need to do it. Well, if you buy the $406 protection package, included with that is this fairly nice cargo mat. Uh, and uh, let's take a close look at it. You know, this mat has a cloth exterior. It's, it's definitely waterproof. It's got a rubber base to it. It fits over this entire area. What's also nice about it is um, you have blocks that come with it that basically Velcro on there. So you can simply set this up and put something in between and it's not going to move. So that's a, it's a nice system. It looks nice. Uh, to me, it's not heavy duty enough and I want the edges to come up higher. So let's take a look at another alternative. Another option that I like better is the Muddy Buddy liner. And what's great about this liner is not only does it protect the trunk area with a nice high lip all the way around, but it goes up the back of the seat. And that's held in place with Velcro. Now I'm gonna tell you right off that uh, I put extra Velcro up there to connect it to the back of the seat because I think uh, WeatherTech and Volkswagen should have given you a little more uh, Velcro to make sure it sticks. Uh, but once you do that, it works great. So I just opened this up a second so I could show you that the cargo liner follows that. And I think that's really slick. You could carry bags of salt in here for your water softener, you name it. And, and your back of your ID4 is going to be thoroughly protected. Uh, just remember, put a couple extra strips of Velcro in there. That's cheap. You can pick it up at your hardware store for five bucks. And I add extra stuff, but I do that with almost everything I buy. I add extra uh, strengthening stuff to it just to, to make it better. So now I'm going to show you what, I, what is really my favorite piece of protection equipment that VW sells. And that's the back seat cover. So here we go. Uh, this thing is only $115, and what's nice about it is everything is customized. It custom fits over the top of the seats. The headrests go through it right where it should. It covers the uh, uh, pass-through as well. You've got easy access to uh, your seat belts uh, and your latch system. It even has a zipper in here that uh, will take care of and you can pull that apart if you need to. It's a really good system. Now I gotta tell you that it only fits uh, Pro S and Pro S Plus models of cars. You gotta, you gotta use the uh, by the upper end uh, uh, car to do that. If you buy the base model, the, it just doesn't fit because you don't have a pass through on it. So the whole system isn't gonna work for you. But for $115, this thing will protect your car from a purple Slurpee dropping right on the seats, no problem. Now, the other thing I want to mention before I, I close here is that you, when you go to your VW parts department, uh, uh, what you, you know, and, and I come to Ben here at, at, at Carroll VW. I, we got great parts people, but Ben's special. He is, uh, 
he's national champion two years in a row. So, you know, a lot of people could say, hey, I've got the best salesman or I've got the best parts guy. Ben is the best parts guy in America. Uh, and when I come to him uh, and talk to him about advice for my customers, Ben said, make sure to tell people to ask if there's any specials or discounts running. Uh, and I think that that's, we run them all the time and you might not know that. So the odds are, if you buy these like this for 115, if you ask, there's a very good chance that you will not be paying full price for this seat cover. And so these are a few of my favorite things uh, that I love to put in ID4s. I think they're all worth the money. I think that uh, they're good products. They are not overpriced, uh, in my humble opinion, because if they were, I, I'd tell you. So I'm never going to tell you to buy something that I think is a waste of money. Uh, and remember, number one, buy yourself one of these things, especially if you got a big hairy dog, because this will save a lot of time and energy, and there's nothing you're going to find on the aftermarket that fits better for a cheaper price. The last accessory I'm going to talk about today is uh, the trailer hitch. The ID4, the Pro S models, all wheel drive, and the upper trims come with this nice inch and a half. Uh, trailer hitch you connected to it but the problem is it's an inch and a half and if you've got a two inch bike rack at home that's not going to fit so your first thought might be well I'm just going to go buy an adapter have it come out go from inch and a half to two it'll be fine no it won't <laughs> it'll be wobbly in all likelihood I haven't found one that works well maybe you guys have found one that works well but I have not so what I'm going to tell you to do is go out and buy a Kurt adapter that replaces this Four bolts, super simple. I did it in five minutes. Uh, and if you're not handy yourself, your, your mechanic can do it in five minutes. It won't cost you much. That whole hitch is like 125 to 140 dollars, depending on where you're gonna get it. Super cheap. Then you got a real two inch hitch for your real two inch bike rack. Uh, it all fits together and it'll work great. And it's one of the cheapest, best investments you could make. It's super good, you'll love it. Hey, once again, this is Principal Bob, the Electric Principal. I am so glad you joined me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you want to see these videos keep coming, subscribe to the channel. You're going to see me put out a lot more videos in the next few weeks. I'm actually working a little less at uh, the VW and doing a little more time with uh, uh, making videos and spending a little more time at home. Uh, and... Uh, I want to make sure that we can keep this up, so subscribe to the channel. I'm so pleased that you're here today. We'll see you soon.